Welcome back to Sovereign RPG. We're diving back into the world of Path of Exile 2, and this time we're all about the loot. That's right, we're taking a closer look at the items you'll be hunting for, equipping and customizing in your quest for ultimate power. From weapons and armor to runes to jewels and unique items, we'll break it all down as of the latest developer live stream. Let me know down below what your favorite part of Path of Exile 2 has been so far. So let's start with the basics. In Path of Exile 2, items are categorized into four rarity levels. Normal, these are your basic white items with no special modifiers. They're the most common type you'll find. Magic, these blue items have one or two added modifiers, making them a step up from normal items. Rare, these yellow items are more powerful, boasting up to six modifiers. They're the bread and butter of character customization. And unique, these are the rarest and most sought after items in the game. They have fixed unique properties that can dramatically alter your build. Now here's for the exciting part. Upgrading your gear. Path of Exile 2 uses currency items called orbs to enhance your equipment. And here's how it works. The orbs of transmutation upgrade a normal item to a magic item. The orb of augmentation adds a second modifier to a magic item. The regal orb adds a third modifier to a magic item, upgrading it to rare quality. And the exalted orb adds modifiers to a rare item up to a maximum of six. The good news, these orbs are much more common in Path of Exile 2. You'll be able to find and use them throughout your campaign, allowing you to experiment with different item builds and upgrade your gear more frequently. But that's not all. You can also obtain orbs by disenchanting items. Disenchanting magic items gradually accumulate shards that combine into an orb of transmutation. Disenchanting rare items accumulate shards that combine into a regal orb. This means you have even more ways to acquire those valuable orbs and craft the perfect gear for your character. Now let's talk about sockets and runes. Some items you find will have sockets and these sockets allow you to further customize customize your gear with Essimite rune. Think of them as mini mods that add extra power to your item. These runes come in various types, each granting a specific bonus. For example, a glacial rune might add cold resistance to your gear. Simply insert the rune into the socket on your item to gain its benefit. It's a streamlined way to enhance your gear without relying on the crafting bench from the previous game. If you find an item with sockets that you don't need, you can break it down at the salvage bench to work towards an artificer's orb. This valuable orb allows you to add sockets to your existing items, giving giving you more customization options. Keep in mind that body armor and two-handed weapons can have up to two sockets, while other armor pieces and one-handed weapons can only have one. This new socket and rune system adds another layer of depth to item customization in Path of Exile 2. You'll have even more control over your gear and how it complements your build. So keep an eye out for those socketed items and experiment with different rune combinations to create the perfect gear for your character. Now here's another way to improve your gear. You can salvage unwanted weapons and armor to obtain armor scraps and weapons. Stone. Use those scraps and whetstones to enhance your equipped items, giving them up to a 20% boost in effectiveness. It's a great way to squeeze extra power out of your favorite gear. But what if you have a mountain of loot you don't need? No problem. Sell your unwanted items to vendors for gold. And guess what? Vendors in Path of Exile 2 will offer a much wider variety and selection of useful items compared to the previous game. Each time you level up, vendors refresh their inventory with new items. Make sure to check back regularly to see what treasures they have in store. And if you're feeling lucky, vendors also have a gacha system. Spend a set amount of gold for a chance to receive a random item of a specific type. Who knows, you might just snag a powerful upgrade. So whether you're salvaging, disenchanting, or selling your loot, Path of Exile 2 gives you plenty of options to manage your inventory and acquire valuable resources. Now let's not forget about the importance of gold. It's not just for buying items from vendors. Here's how you can put your hard-earned gold to good use. If you've made a mistake in your passive skill tree, no worries. You can respect your points by spending a bit of gold. This gives you the freedom to experiment with different builds without fear of permanent consequences. Gold is also essential for the currency exchange, a new feature that allows you to trade items with other players on an open market. And almost every item in Path of Exile 2 is freely tradable. No more worrying about items being bound to your character. This creates a dynamic player economy where you can buy, sell, and trade to your heart's content. The only exception is gold itself, which is character bound. This open trading system and the ability to respect your skills with gold offer a level of flexibility and player agency that was somewhat limited in the previous game. So manage your gold wisely and you'll be well on your way to creating the perfect character build and acquiring powerful items. Now for the most exciting part of any loot-driven game, unique item. While most gear in Path of Exile 2 is randomly generated, unique items are different. They are meticulously handcrafted with fixed stats, attributes, and modifiers, making each one a special treasure to find. These unique items can drastically alter your build, offering powerful and sometimes unconventional effects that you won't find anywhere else. Unique items can do some truly bizarre and amazing things, pushing your build in an entirely new direction. For example, 
These unique greaves cause any corpse you run through to explode into a cloud of poison, creating a deadly trail in your wake. These uniques transform your dodge roll into a blink ability, allowing you to teleport past enemies similar to abilities in World of Warcraft. The thrill of discovering a powerful new unique item is a core part of the Path of Exile 2 experience. These items not only offer a significant power boost, but also encourage creative build experimentation. So keep your eyes peeled for those rare and unique treasures. They might just be the key to unlocking your character's true potential. And here's one more thing that has me hyped about unique items. Some unique items are designed to be pure hits of dopamine, offering exciting and game-changing effects. Take the Quill Rain Shortbow, for example. This beauty turns your arrows into full auto projectiles, drastically increasing your attack speed and turning you into a ranged machine gun. Many unique items are designed to be the centerpiece of a build. You can find a unique you love and build your entire character around its strength. The developers have worked to ensure that most unique items remain relevant even in the end game, so don't be afraid to hang on to those early game finds. And to top it off, every single unique item in Path of Exile 2 comes with custom art to match its unique effects and flavor. The developers are clearly passionate about creating unique items that are not only powerful but also visually stunning and fun to use. I can't wait to see what other crazy items they've come up with. Oh, and before we forget, here's a quick reminder about flasks. You'll have one flask slot for health potions and one flask slot for mana potions. These flasks gain charges as you kill enemies, allowing you to heal or replenish mana multiple times before needing to refill. Now, before we wrap up, let's touch on a few more exciting item-related systems in Path of Exile 2. Charm. These are new items that provide automatic defense against status effects or damage types. For example, a Thawing Charm grants immunity to freeze for a short period when fully charge. You recharge charms by killing enemies, and you can acquire more charm slops by upgrading your belt. Now, spirit gems allow you to choose from a range of persistent skills that add passive effects to your character. Examples include Arctic Armor, which reflects cold damage to attackers, and Raging Spirits, which releases fiery skulls when you use fire spells. The game now also supports automatic weapon swapping when using different skills. This allows for seamless transitions between different combat styles. Imagine having a staff with bonuses to fire skills and another with bonuses to lightning skills, and swapping between them as you cast spells. Support gems can be combined with active skills to modify their effect. For example, the multiple projectile support gem can be added to a grenade skill, allowing you to fire three grenades instead of one. You can also have one of each support gem equipped, so choose wisely. Path of Exile 2 provides an incredible amount of depth and customization when it comes to items and skills. Whether you prefer to theorycraft your own unique builds or follow established guides, the possibilities are endless. And with that, we've covered just about every aspect of items in Path of Exile 2. Get ready to loot and experiment with vast array of gear and create the ultimate build. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Path of Exile 2 content, including build guides, gameplays, and more. Thanks for watching.